All right, so now that I have the USB drive. Shit. Ooh. Ow, that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Oh, watch your profanity, sir. All right, let me go save that girl before this guy has like a titty attack or something like. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. She didn't even say thank you, fucking asshole. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. Oh, never mind. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. You're smart, so you should hang out more. No, I have to finish this stupid book. Now Alyssa can savor her bad novel in peace. Anyways, let me check my text message, see what this bitch-ass Victoria wants. Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It's your last one. The fuck? She misspelled the T H E like bro. Learn how a fucking spell, dumbass. Ew, what's this? Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. Bye, their sarcasm is real. Anyways, let me go back. Victoria's just mad because of the fact that I made fun of her for getting paint all over her crusty, dusty self. This lover of ladies just enjoying the fact that I got to really cool. Victoria, thank you for watching this week's uh, Life is Strange. Oh, I see Kate there. Um, let's see what's going on with her. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do Ew. you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I don't give a fuck. Hey. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, yeah, asshole. Nobody is bullying anybody. Okay, doing whatever. No, you're not. Fuck you, bro. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good. Memorize it, remember, eat it, breathe it, shut it out. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime. Anytime. I got you, girl. Anyways. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. He could come after me Maybe all he I wants. Rewind and mind my own business? No, I don't regret it. He can fuck right off, that dick ass. Anyways, thanks for the love and support. And now let's go to the parking lot because I need to give Warren his USB drive. I love how there's a montage of her just walking to the parking lot. That is so funny. Oh, there's Wharton. Let's go, big boy. Ooh, what's I'm going on? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Julia. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. You better dump that ugly ass bitch ass boyfriend of yours. That sexting someone is not a joke. Like, what the hell? 
I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Another? Well, that poster is everywhere. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. True. Anyways, let me go see my BFF. Max, get your ass over here. I know. I've been missing Loka. Crazy, right? And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Why are you judging him? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh, no problem. He wanted a hug. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60? A long time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see your ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Damn. Ha uh ha. -huh. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Honestly, I am, bro. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. Huh, where do I go? Warren, like This is between you and me, not social media. Like, where do I Don't start? Insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Yeah. Max Caulfield, right? Yo, who's coming? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer I me, I told bitch. him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Like, Nobody. fuck off. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Get your crusty fucking face off of my face. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from yeah. Me. Oh, shit. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Fucking asshole. Oh, shit. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! No, no, I got this! Oh, shit! He's hey, getting his Max? ass beat! I just Get found my friend again? Out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Wow. That is some crazy shit. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. 
So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Mm. Not after seeing you. Aww. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy Damn. to wait five years without a call or even a Damn. text. Damn. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. She, sh she was just scared to talk to you because of this. Because of the way you're acting, Clo. That's why. Now it's fucking awkward. Damn. Broken. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Damn. Welcome home, Max. That's a nice, decent house. Two car garage, two four building, like, has a good, decent front lawn, like, it's actually not bad. Come and affect that. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Is this Chloe's room? That is so funny. Everybody lies, no exceptions? Oh lord. Think like a man! My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Uh, she's smoking weed already? What the hell? Oregon coast. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Miss, you wish you were here, Rach. Huh. Interesting. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. I'm not gonna search inside. I'm not gonna be that nosy. This looks like a laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Mm, maybe I am gonna search. We had such a blast drawing these together. Wow. Chloe and Max. Max and Chloe. Huh. Power Girls. Max, Chloe, and Super Kitty. Freedom Eagle. Cosmic Snail. Black Hole Danger. Aww. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> oh shit! Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she okay. cared. First of all, let me rewind. I am so sorry. I feel bad. There you go. Alright, so now I know that, you know... It's a snow globe. I'm not going to mess with that. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe's dad built this dresser. 
Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. I mean, I know back in Life is Strange before the storm, a lot of shit happened, which I don't know about. I will be playing that game in the in the later season, but for now, let me see here. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Hmm, that's funny. Damn, she is smoking that shit. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Did she just take her stuff? What a dick, Max. Oh. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Yes, you were. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Ugh, that was her, you know, lover, I'm assuming. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Damn. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I mm. feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago, she just left Arcadia, without a word, without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Damn, Something never mind. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Damn, she, she has a lot of inner demons that she's trying to deal with. And I have reminded her of it. Great. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed, e Chloe's trash overfloweth. Who talks like that, bro? Who'd have thunk Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Damn, I know her. She's about to lose her license at that point. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Is this a desk or a storage space? Look at her judging. Shut up. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. I can't stand her comments, bro. She looks super stoned. Bye, I'm done. All right. It won't play without any power. So let's turn on the power. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. I mean, we might as well just go in since you're being nosy, so. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Aww. Aww. Let me, you're right, let me step over this pizza box right here. Let me get pizza over my shoes. Anyways. There's the power strip. Wow. Okay. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. How much money? Three grand? Bro. All she needs is $3,000 and she'll be out the door. Oh, 
Obviously, I turned the music off due to not wanting to get copy claimed. So let me put on some music. You ready? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Obviously sure, not. I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. How are you going to ask someone if they're okay when you clearly don't... Hard to believe this. Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. My step-ass keeps tools down in the garage. I bet you can find something to fix your camera. Alright, let me leave because I can tell you're already annoyed with my fucking annoying ass. Okay, so downstairs, right? I, I want to be nosy though. Let me see. Let me go take a, a a piss first. Ooh, let me see. What's this? I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Okay, next. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Floxetine tablets? You know what? I'm gonna look this up. Hold on. I'm curious now. What the hell would you use these things for? I know, I know. I'm like, bro, you're wild. So fucking what? Alright, so let me see. Floxotine tablets? And Antidepressant medicine to treat depression. Oh no, Chloe. Oh, she is hella depressed. Oh Lord. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. You would be the one to think like that. Let me turn off the light, cause you know, electricity's not free here. And I, I would feel some type of way if I actually ran up their electricity bill, you know? You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. Here I am, once again. I'm torn into pieces. I love how I'm just- This oh! must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Yo, that bird just got in there. Like, hold on, let me fix this. Let me fix this. All right, all right, let me turn, let me open up the window. Oh! Shit. First of all, that bird's dead. Hold on. Oh, I could, yeah, I could undo actions. That's cool. All right, come on. Open up the window. Hurry up. Ooh, the bird went in just in time. Oh, my goodness. And that bird's there. What's good? You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Damn, I'm being hella oh. nosy today. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Okay, let me see. Let me see what else I can look through. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. Whoever she's with is Dog fucking tags. sweet. David Matson. Okay. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Bendito, that's cute. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, you you see, put two to two together and how much you want, but the security guard at the school is Chloe's stepdaddy. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. Four thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars and thirteen cents. God damn, that's a lot of money. Can I look? Joyce looks happy. 
Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. That's the guy from the school. Max, how can you not recognize him, bro? Come on. Anyways, let's go downstairs. I've already caused enough havoc. Ooh. What's this? Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. I am just being a nosy little shithead, bro. Like, OD nosy. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I mean, her dad's dead. Can you blame her? I wouldn't be smiling either if one of my parents passed away. Whoa, the text messages. Okay. Um... Uh... Let me see. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy is an asshole. Cool. At least the kitchen's decent sized. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Yeah, it has been forever, honestly. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Shit, I want to go get a burger too. I love burgers, but not as much as pizza, but I love burgers. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Damn, okay, Max, I see you. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Oh, they have a decent yard. What's this? Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Ben D, though, I know she was feeling so type of way. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. This place- Looks like a shipwreck now. Hold so many memories, I can tell. I guess they're aging, these books. Actually, let me go to the yard. I want to I wanna go to the yard, actually. Wow, <sighs> this is so cool. I can feel Autumn pushing. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Damn, poor Bongo indeed. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. The fact that she kept it still says a lot, Max. She's mad that you didn't talk to her for the past five years, but you know for a fact she's pretty happy to see you too. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Oh, dude, that did not totally age well. Me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Wow, that is like hardcore contemplation right there. Max, everything's going to be okay. Just rekindle your friendship with Chloe. And then just build on new memories from there. I know you feel bad about leaving her, but dude, you came back. Then that's what counts and that's what matters. So let's go. Anyways, 
Anyways, let's go inside the house. We got a camera to save, remember? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.